ready? Okay. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I have two special guests today, my mom and my friend Kat. Hi. And we are here to make another vegan Filipino recipe. My mom's actually gonna be taking the lead. Kat and I are just hanging out, drinking a little bit, and um, yeah, I think that's all I have to say. What are we making, mom? We're gonna be making chicken affritada using soy curls. I think you guys saw this in our last video where we made adobo. Mm. Adobo. Adobo. <laughs> so, and it was good. Jasmine was good. requested oh, yeah. that we make the chicken affritada. She remembers this when she was younger. So we're going to make it today veganized. So easy to veganize. And affritada is basically, it's like a chicken dish with tomato sauce. And it has a bunch of veggies in it. And it also has, usually has hot, is it hot dogs or sausage? Hot dogs. Hot dogs. So we're using vegan hot dogs. It tastes just the same. Filipinos love hot dogs. Seriously. I used to eat hot dogs for breakfast. <laughs> and in your spaghetti. Yeah, everywhere. <laughs> so let's get started. I'm going to switch with you, Mom, so that you can okay. take the lead here. And um, is this warm? Oh, not already? yet. I didn't okay. turn it on yet. Do it on four. Okay. Dita, did you start cooking at a young age? Actually, when I was young, I. I was mostly baking. baking. I didn't really do a lot of savory cooking. Mm. It wasn't until later that I kind of just started doing more savory watching my mom. So um, baking was my thing when I was younger. Um, I, I still bake, but not as much anymore since I don't have time. It takes longer to, to do baking and things like that. Sweet when Simple Mom do does have a good food she does post up. You can check out her Instagram. Uh, Shameless posts. Sweet simple mom. <laughs> Seriously though. Um, but you do make some really good baked goods when you do bake. Her almond pulp cookies are so good. I think I tried that when I was in LA one time. So good. They Probably. Were good. They yeah. Were good. We need to get those on the blog. It's just I don't like to waste it since we, we make fresh on almond milk a couple of times a week for our coffee, cereal. So, I mean, there's always a lot of pulp and I don't like to throw it away. I mean, I usually put it in compost, but I always figure, you know, to make something good with it. My husband likes cookies, so. Oh, he does. <laughs> Is he a cookie monster? Oh He's my a cookie god, monster. everything monster. <laughs> a sweet tooth monster, so ah. he likes a lot of things sweet. Sweet, simple uh, tooth. <laughs> stretch. Sweet, simple tooth. <laughs> well, it's funny because <laughs> Even though we're vegan, I still have to sneak in vegetables in his food. So Man, when like I a make, little kid, <laughs> do um, you put vegetables in his cookies? I do. <laughs> what? I actually put shredded carrots. Oh, I think I saw you do that. Yeah. Yeah. And I had put um, some shredded um, so zucchini. Funny. That is hilarious. I mean, once you have the chocolate chip in there, the sugar, the butter. I mean, he doesn't even the sugar, the, butter. the sugar, the butter, yeah. the, all the sugar. <laughs> But it has vegetables in it, so... That's pretty cool, though. Let me go ahead and grab I saw this. you making that the other day, and I was like, that should be interesting. There was a lot of vegetables. I was like, she said she was making cookies. <laughs> yes. I figured, you know, again, try to sneak some of the vegetables in there. Like, also, when I cook some spaghetti, since you're, mm. you know, usually putting it with a beef crumble, I'll put shredded carrots, zucchini, same thing. Um, sometimes I'll, I'll, I'll do spinach. I'll just chop it up really fine. And again, it's, you know, once you have the tomato sauce, Everything starts to taste the same. Yeah, like in a but at yeah. least you have the vegetables in there. So, anyway, so this is garlic, and there's a lot of garlic in here. Bawang. 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 <laughs> Bawang. Oh, I never know how to say garlic. I got you. Bawang. Bawang. I'm gonna just translate everything. That Bawang. Bawang. Yes. Bawang. Yeah. Yeah, please do. Yeah, I got I love you. Garlic. Oh my gosh, I wish we had smell a vision because so I can already so smell good. it. Garlic. Can you hand me some of the onions next? How do you say this in Tagalog? Um. You remember? Yeah. Cebuyas. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> is that, isn't that like Spanish? Well, yes. there's a lot yeah. of like, um, similar words. So, it's a saute and then. Cebuyas? Cebuyas. Oh. I think in Spanish, it's cebuyas. I don't know how to say that one. Cebuya, roll call. How do you say bell peppers in Tagalog? You know what? I don't know. Bell pepper. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers to that. Cheers oh my to God, that. That's hilarious. <laughs> bell peppers. Bell peppers. You know what? I don't know how to say bell peppers in Tagalog. Somebody look it up and we'll tell you about it. <laughs> so you just saute everything until its aroma is just all coming out um, before you put anything else. It just makes everything smell so good and it'll absorb all of the flavor once it um, 
Oh. Out, so. Got done. As Chris has it. What is that? Campanella. Wait, let's see, let's see, let's see. I've never heard of bell peppers. Campanella peppers. Yeah. If I add a little more of a heavy accent on that. <laughs> Campanella. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the best? No. You want to go higher? Yeah. I just want to burn it. <laughs> no, we can just. Uh, it's sweating in here. Yeah. It has to sweat more. There's always that like difficulty when I cook that sometimes I put it on high and you're like, okay, cool, it's gonna get nice and like oh, crispy, and then, and then all of a sudden it's like, bam, <laughs> yeah, it's brown, too hot. Too hot. Black. I'll usually put the hot dog first and then vegan, it'll... vegan hot dog. Got to preface. Yeah. Vegan, vegan, vegan and hot dog. How do you say hot dog? Hot dog! <laughs> <laughs> Not a lot of people know. So I take that and it'll absorb all of the flavors of the campanilla. Campanilla. <laughs> it's very campanilla in there. Oh, oh. <laughs> and then the cebollas and the what? Bawa. Bawa. There you go. Bawa. Have you had boy bawa? You know the little crispy garlic snacks? No. Oh my gosh. Okay. It's like a, a Filipino snack. I don't know yeah. if it's vegan. I have to check it. But it kind of reminds me of like corn nuts, but it's just like, it's straight garlic. Ooh. Oh my God, it's the best. I have to find it. I really want to go to a Filipino store and like go through all the snacks and find vegan ones and try them. You know, we can actually do that. I think like in Beaverton like area. Oh, we that, try. There's a lot of Filipinos out there. I know there's a Filipino market in this area. We yeah, went, right? I went. There's not. No? No. No. They're not gonna no. <laughs> we gotta go we gotta go inside. We gotta go to the beef. Yeah, we gotta go to the beef. I'm gonna go ahead and add the bay leaf to this one too. So that it'll also absorb the flavor. So I'll just throw like four in there now. You can always add more. Bay leaves are, I feel like they're very common in Filipino cooking. Yes, I agree. Because bay leaves are also in a double. Mm -hmm. And I think they're also in... Are they in Senegal? Oh, no. 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 Not the bay leaves. What's the one Senegal. with the beef, like, is it called areta? Areta. Yeah. Some people Girl. like it. Some people yeah, make don't. that. Yeah. Can we Ooh, make that? Oh, yeah. You can make caldereta with soy pearls, I think. Ooh. I always love caldereta. My it's sauce with the rice. Yeah. That's. I was talking about that today. My mom actually made this last night to test out, and we were. I ate it for breakfast. But I love like the stews with the thick sauce and then rice on the side. Mm. Like that's like my favorite kind of meal. Auntie, oh, do you good. know that Jasmine and I don't like our food touching? Everything is always sectioned separated. out. It's separated. We get, we get curry, Mom. Chris gets the curry and gets the rice and just puts the rice in and mixes it. Oh, see, oh, I can like find that. <laughs> I don't want to put it together. I can't okay. do that. So let's go ahead and add the potatoes. Oh. Okay. And the reason I'm doing this. Lot. That's a lot of potatoes. I love potatoes in my uh, fritada. And then let's go ahead and put some of that um, Carrot? carrots too. Is it traditionally um, cut that big or is apertata potatoes usually shredded? I can't remember. Uh, it's usually like this. Yeah. Some people like it, you know, you know, a little chunkier. Um, I usually cook it, I mean, I'll cut it a little smaller so that it'll cook a little faster. So it's I'm, like shredded carrots and shredded potatoes. Yeah. You can do that. But this is more like a, a stew, so you want it to be more chunky. And the reason I'm, I'm cooking all of the vegetables first is you want to cook the potatoes down um, so that it'll start to soften because you don't want to put the soy curls and start mixing it in and it gets all mushy. Oh yeah, it'll you break. So soy curls are just like the last thing you put in? Um, yeah, so then I'll go ahead and if you can pass me the peas to Jasmine. Oh, oh man. And we'll you guys, this is, that's a lot of bees. <laughs> and this is a, a, a big, I don't know, if our, actually I don't know if our pot is big enough. Here. I know, that's what I was thinking, I was like, oh no. no. Is this a Jasmine and Auntie situation? I feel like you always, I always say do that you don't use big enough pot. I always do this. I, I always like too much food. Yeah, and it's funny since now it's just my husband and I at home, you know, since Jasmine and Christian is no longer at home. When I cook, I still cook a lot, so I always end up with a lot of food. Do you freeze it? I do, so I'll put them you know, in, in little containers for lunch for us, or I'll, I'll call my sister. Little bat on? Over. Ba little bat on, yeah, yeah. bat on. Since you're going through all the trouble in cooking it, if you cook a lot, then you'll always have that if you crave it. Oh, I have this in the freezer. Filipino fun facts. We yes. don't know how to cook for under two. It 
always is for like <laughs> five yeah. and over. Seriously. So many people. That's very true because we always have a lot of people over. Always. Yeah. And I love that. I love people coming over, inviting people to like enjoy good food, just having wine, and just hanging out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mom, Cheers again. My mom always makes, well, her house, the party house. Like, there's always something going on. Well, it's, you have a great party house, though. We do. Yeah. yeah good patio, good kitchen. And then, you know, And you have a do, garden. I yeah. love my garden. That's a thing. When I retire, that's going to be my full-time thing, doing a lot more gardening. So on the YouTube channel, suitable garden. Maybe. <laughs> Let's make some sound effects. <laughs> you could actually, you don't even have to put soy curls, as you can see. There's a lot of veggies. I mean, I know it has a hot dog in there, but if you just want it to be with vegetables, you can totally just make a frittata yeah. with just, you know, vegetables. Gulai. Oh, Gulai. Gulai. Wow. Fun. You know what my favorite, um, not my favorite, excuse me, Gulai is? Ampalaya. Oh, do you what like that? that? No, so I don't. Bitter. I don't like oh, bitter melon. Bitter melon. Oh, no. I, have all, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you, if you, this is not going to fit. I don't know. Is, do you think? Auntie, I think you should just like, you know, do you, wow. <laughs> we made it fit. <laughs> Auntie, did, in your Filipino household, did you um, turo toro with your mouth? Like, mm. yes. Oh over my there. gosh. And Jasmine Chris asked me, <laughs> Mom, where's the thing? I'm like, over there. She goes, over there? She always makes fun of me when I do that, too. <laughs> that is a Filipino thing. Or my mom would always be like, Nico, Nico. Ni Nico's my nickname in my house. And so she'd be like, Nico, go get me the remote. Mm, mm, there. Mm, mm. <laughs> And I'm always just like, where? Um, we forgot to mention soy curls, they come dry and then you have to hydrate them. So what my mom did is she actually hydrated it in vegan chicken broth. We use the better than bouillon paste um, just to give the soy curls that chicken flavor and just make it more flavorful in general because on its own it doesn't taste like anything. It's the same as tofu. The tofu, the flavor that, that it has is what you cook with it. So yeah. it, it, since it, this is tofu based or soy, soy based, then whatever you, you flavor it um, with is what it's gonna have. So we just added the, to the what is that, the soy curls in the vegetables. So I'm gonna add the tomato sauce. So this is just an organic tomato sauce. Um, typically, if you can get it unsalted, it's better that way, because uh, sometimes they do over Too salt. Salty. Cause you can always add the salt. When this you're pot is full. <laughs> I think that's about it. We're gonna be able to fit in here, guys. Is there anything else you need in there? Just the cilantro. Oh, I mean. We're gonna add actually a little bit of liquid too. Oh my god. <laughs> it's okay. I feel like if she mixes it, it's because everything's kind of just like sitting on top. Yeah. So let's do this. What was your favorite Filipino dish growing up? Um, I'm trying to think. Well, you lived in Palawan, right? Or that's where your family was from? Yeah. I was born in Palawan. I grew up there until I was seven, eight years old. Palawan's changed a lot from what I hear. Yeah. Really so it's like more, trendy it's now. very Palawan is sips trendy. Sips. Sips. But I, th I think they're doing a lot better because I think they were, um, at first, too many uh, tourists were coming in, but now they've regulated it a little bit where people aren't bringing like their plastic and their trash. I mean, yeah, you know how it is. Yeah, it's island and they didn't really have, I don't think they were prepared for as many visitors um, as, it, as it, it had gotten. I mean, the Philippines is beautiful. Everywhere you go, it's something different. Do you want me to pour this into there? Um, What's that? So, so this is just like vegetable broth, basically. Oh, okay. Or the, this is where the we leftover. This is where we cook the soy curl. Yeah. I mean, we, we, well, we cook, we, we, we soak the soy curls. Soy yeah. curls. So it's the vegan chicken broth. Um, I feel like you could just add it in, right? Yeah. Let me just, I don't know if I'm going to put all of it. Okay. I mean, I think we did a really good job not letting this overflow. Yeah. I feel like the, very, very the tomato yeah. did absorb into right all the vegetables. Down. Yeah. So Got fish. my mom's recipe right here, right? Yeah. That, that's where the, all the secrets are. Yeah. <laughs> in the drawer. So I'm going to, oh, actually, can you hand me the cilantro? So you were saying cilantro is not a traditional... No, so this is not really the traditional afritada Filipino recipe um, that I remember um, when my mom used to make afritada. So my mother-in-law makes a similar dish 
that she used to cook with shrimp and she had you know cilantro in it so when I started cooking it's Ecuadorian yeah so she's Ecuadorian so when I started cooking the afritada I said you know what I love cilantro Auntie, we need a little uh, wine break we need a wine break I got you my mom would literally eat cilantro salads well, Dude, cilantro salad it's so good so that's basically it you just let it simmer uh, maybe 20 to 30 minutes the way that you would test it is if the potatoes are done then this is done and then you just serve it of course with me I always serve it so over rice. rice. Uh, Jasmine what did you say your mom always had rice in the morning? Oh my god. Yes. Mom has rice with her pizza, with her what? spaghetti. Your pizza too? <laughs> I, I don't get full unless I have rice. Oh my husband my always god. makes fun of me. Like what's happening? I always remember my mom would have the rice cooker going on growing yeah. up and in the morning you can hear it. I would hear it go off before I'd go to school. Yeah. And I'm like you don't even know what you're eating. You don't know what day. you're eating, no. but the rice is always ready. Yes. yes, that's how that's how it goes. I will always have rice in the refrigerator. I'll actually even put some in little containers in the freezer just in case. If I have food and I run out of rice, and I always have life. some in the back. So we're gonna let this simmer, and then we'll check in with you guys when it's done. So we're just talking, we're saying Sabao, 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 Sabao. We're so tall about the Sabao. Sabao, Sabao, Sabao. Sabao, Sabao, Sabao. Sabao, 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 Bao, Bao. The Sabao, which is like the sauce, the liquid, is the best part. Yes. The Sabao, the sauce. Wow, this is so good. Yo, this rice is made perfect. Yeah. Did you use your fingers to measure that? Yes, I did. The rice. Right here, you the measure water. the water. Yeah, you don't use cups? Nope. And it always comes out perfectly. Mm. Okay. What do you think? Is it a repeat? Oh my gosh, that is a repeat. Mm. Auntie, and set up? Oh my god. That tastes, that tastes mm. exactly like what it tastes like. There's affritata. See, Barry wants some too. Barry. I'll make you a, a dog friendly <laughs> affritata. <laughs> wow. No and no onions. onions. Your, your nana really loves you, Barry. She's going to make you a big and version of apretada. Wow. Auntie, this was the best. Yeah, it's really good. You like it? Mm hmm. I feel like this is a really good recipe for meal prep, too. You can make a huge batch at the beginning of the week and then just like take it for lunch or eat it for dinner. Salamat. This yeah, is a winner, easy. mom. You did a really good job. Thank you. I'm glad you guys liked it. Oh, don't forget to tell them you added a little pepper at the end. Oh, yeah. Add pepper. Well, Jasmine will have the, I guess, full recipe on her link blog. down below. Yeah. So. And also, I'll link other vegan Filipino recipes. We did a video before for my mom's vegan adobo, and I also did the vegan pandesal recently too. Mm. So so good. You guys got a lot of Filipino recipes and more to come. <laughs> the Filipino vegan mom is here. <laughs> All my answers are prayer. My prayers are out. All my answers are prayer. <laughs> So I think that is it for this video today. Thank you guys so much for watching, for joining us in the kitchen. I had a lot of fun. Thank you guys for being in my video today. Thanks for having us. This was delicious. This I'm coming so over. Good. I'm taking that bottle. <laughs> if you guys like this, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe down below. Hit that bell if you want notifications for new videos. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. Well, Barry, don't eat the food. <laughs>